Because this is my experience. That's why. You want somebody to cuddle you. Absolutely right, Deacon. I don't give a damn about your thousands of subscribers and, and all that crap. Because here, it's about quality, not quantity. I would rather have 10 quality subscribers and real subscribers than hundreds and thousands of ass lickers and zombies. And that's what you have, a bunch of robots and zombies, plagiarists, costume wearers. The black man's supposed to be the original man. Ain't nothing original about none of you. None of you original. Trying to copy and be somebody else. I'm a soul man. I am a descendant of slave born in America. My ancestors developed their own culture, their own swag. I don't want, I don't want to be like an African. I don't want to be like a, a Arab. I want to be exactly who I am here, and it, it has served us well. I just saw a documentary last night with Gail King on CBS talking about the 100th anniversary of the 1921 Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma massacre. Look how well we was doing. We was not being no damn Africans. We was not being no damn, this is 1921. This is 1921. There was no Marcus Garvey. There was no Nation of Islam. There was no Black Panther Party. Look how well we was doing, how we was kicking rocks, being who we was. We don't need your shit. Excuse the language. Your religious Pan-African Nation of Islam, Hebrew is like, we was just being who we was in 1921 had nothing to do with none of this stuff. And I can guarantee you, the majority of them was Christians. They were Christians praying to white Jesus. And they done better than all of y'all suckers in 2021 put together. They were just being themselves. And as we grow, as we get more information, then things change. But they were doing very well in 1921. Where is your Black Wall Street? Matter of fact, most of you suckers talking about we need a Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street is not Pan-African. Black Wall Street is not Hebrew Israelite or Kemetic or Nation of Islam. None of that stuff. Black Wall Street was soul power. The colored people, the Negro, the people of soul. That's what they would, that's what they would call themselves later on. As they gravitated out of this racist mindset, they understood their humanity not their skin color. You trapped in skin color. You trapped in racism. 